from the role center page under the finance menu, click on chart of accounts. This will give you a list of all the accounts in the financial system. To filter the page, you can simply choose any of the columns and on the drop down menu, we can then click on filter. Now, for example, I'm going to say, let me choose only the balance sheet accounts. And how you can tell whether a page has been filtered is you will notice a symbol, the filter symbol on the bottom left corner of the column. To clear the filter, simply click on the drop down menu, clear filter. Now, all of the accounts in the chart of accounts are made up of either a balance sheet item or an income statement item. And if you were to choose account categories, you will see that for both accounts, the items are listed. So for example, assets, liabilities, equities, these are all balance sheet accounts. Income, cost of goods sold, expense, these are all income statement accounts. So for example, if I were to choose income, you will then filter out by the income accounts. You can then further filter this out by choosing sub accounts. So under account subcategory, click on the drop down menu, filter, and let me choose income services. The list will be narrowed down by choosing only the service incomes. Now let's go ahead and create a new account, a new account. So let me choose expense. And I will choose a vehicle expense. So from the chart of accounts menu, click on new. Fill in the information. One category would be expense and the subcategory are optional, but I would recommend to use one of the expense accounts. So this would fall under vehicle expense. And if you want, you can fill out the posting details as well. So let's go back to the card. You will now see the gasoline account has been added to the chart of accounts. Now the next step would be to indent the chart of account. It's going to it's going to ask whether you want to confirm. So if you say yes, it's going to indent not just this particular account, but it will indent for all of all of the accounts that you were working on. To edit the account, simply click on the ellipsis edit and let's just say you want to edit the general posting type i'll say purchase and domestic and this will be automatically saved to delete account simply go to the top and click on delete now if there are any transactions that's associated with this account card this will not let you delete, but since we just created this account and there is no transaction history, you can simply click on yes and the account will be deleted. So that's just uh, a few scenarios of ways that you can navigate the chart of accounts.